Hi everybody, um, it's Marcy and today is Friday. The weekend is upon us. I hope everyone's planning a fun weekend. Should be gorgeous in St. Louis. If you're someplace else, I hope it's gorgeous there. Okay, first thing I wanna do is talk about this ice cream from yesterday. I haven't tried it yet. Whoops, lost a little nut there. So this is the first one I pulled out. Oh my gosh. So here is the dark chocolate sea salt almond one. Oh my gosh. Okay, everyone has to make this. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it was so easy to make. And I just stuck it in my little um, Pampered Chef cups. Mm, I wouldn't use these, I'd use something bigger because I made like five different ones. Oh, I wanna keep eating this, but I don't wanna put my spoon back in. Um, okay, I'll have to wait till we're done here. But oh, that is so delicious. It tastes like really phenomenal ice cream. So, and you guys saw how easy it was to make. You just freeze it. And then I did let it soften for a few minutes so it wasn't rock hard. Okay, next thing I need to tell you, next Monday, no live. I'm not gonna be doing a live on Monday. <clears throat> it's a big Jewish holiday, so. I am going to be not in services praying, but watching services praying and fasting. And the last thing I want to do fasting <laughs> while I'm fasting is to cook something. Not doing that. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, the other thing I've been talking about and talking about, and it came today, I was so excited, are single origin dark chocolate bars. Okay, this is what the box looks like. I have not even opened this yet. Let's see. We're in a never-ending quest. Oh, it's got a nice little thing about on the back, explaining single origin. I like that. Um, <clears throat> has all the countries listed on the front. Then we have a nice little um, container like our bar library was in. Okay, and then here we have, oh, this is interesting. So we've got the Philippines. Oh, and this is so nice are shaped not only by the quality of cocoa, but the essence of their origins. And it talks about that. And it says this is 75% cacao. If you've ever been to my talk, you know what that means. And you know that 75% from a Mars company is way better than the 72% people swear they have to have. Um, <clears throat> this one is from Ghana. That one's 65%, which, like I said, if you've been to one of my talks, you know that's better than 72% too. And this one is Indonesia. And this one is from the, and that, what was Indonesia? 62%. And Dominican is 80%. Wow. So those people who, like, swear you have to have the 72%, um, like I said, talk to me first. That's a marketing thing. But... Um, this tells the percentage of cacao in there, and <clears throat> with Mars, it makes a big difference because we have a special way of processing that preserves the cocoa flavanols, which are the healthy part of chocolate. If you've ever been to one of my classes, you'll know that. Um, so I cannot wait to start doing these with groups. Um, I've got a couple groups I'm talking to doing it for their employees, and um, <clears throat> oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Everyone, um, they're going to send it out to their employees. Um, we are going to schedule a Zoom call, and I'm going to go through it and explain a lot of it, a lot about the chocolate and about the regions and things like that. So, if you're interested in doing not just a nice gift um, for dark chocolate bars from all around the world, uh, but also an event, please let me know. I would love to help you. Okay, on to our recipe today. <clears throat> I saw one, oh, you know, maybe water would help. <clears throat> I saw something simil similar to this and thought, I can do this even better. So, and I'm facing the other way today. It's very difficult cooking over here, but. So I made a batch of our blondies, which you've seen me make a million times, and a batch of our cinnamon pecan cookie mix, which you've seen me make a bunch of times too. So the blondies are already in here. <clears throat> What I need to do now is put the, um, put the cookie mix between this. I'm gonna squish it in there. 
Now, I saw this done with brownies and something out and um, cookie dough. Um, and it probably actually looks better just because you've got the brown and the, um, the light. But I wanted to use our blondies because I like them so much. And I know if I make this and stick it in the freezer when Becca comes home, she will be so happy because that is like her favorite thing. And I think it's different enough you can still see which is where. Hmm, we did not leave a lot of room for these, did I? Um, <clears throat> so this is the main part, but wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, so here you can see we sort of have like a checkerboardy kind of thing going. Hmm, this needs to be out of the way. Um, okay. I hope this comes out looking, let's see, I got a little bit extra cookie. I wish I had a little bit bigger pan, but maybe I should do this another time in two smaller pans, because there is a lot of product in here. Okay, so we've got these all ready, and that would be all, except that's never good enough. I also have my towels over there too to wipe my hands with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some things to everything. So here I have some of our crushed up cinnamon. Nope. I think these are our sea salt almonds. They are, they're the ones I used yesterday. So these are our sea salt almonds. I'm gonna put these on one of the squares. Okay, then I'm going to take some cinnamon pecans and I'm not going to crush these. Whoops. I'm going to put some of these on <clears throat> one of the squares. Or I guess it's not a square, the rectangles. Okay, then I'm going to keep moving on. I've got some of our chocolate rounds and we're gonna put those let's put those on the cookie ones we'll just put a few on there uh, then the other thing I'm gonna use are some pretzels because everyone knows whoops, how much people like sweet and salty <clears throat> together Oh my goodness, these have a lot of broken ones in them. Yeah, let's go this bag. Okay. So we're going to put one that has some salty on it. Then, you know our parent company, Mars one of our most popular things. I love these mini ones. They're so fun. We're gonna put that on this one. Oh, let's not overlap. Uh, then, let's see, I've got a couple of Dove Promises. <laughs> Should have unwrapped these ahead. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple of Dove Promises on this one. If I can find the other one. And you can see this is gonna come out looking so pretty. Um, oh, marshmallows I wanted to put on. I wish I had miniature marshmallows, but I don't, so I'm gonna just tear these in half. Put them on there. I'm going to push those down in a little so they don't just burn on the top. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, pecans. And we'll put that right on some of our uh, white chocolate cinnamon pecan cookie mix. And you can see, I don't know if you can see like right there and there, you can see the chunks of real white chocolate in there. And if you remember anything from what I've said, you know that our white chocolate is different than other people's. It, um, 
it is made with all cocoa butter. There's none of the added uh, hydrogenated oils or things like that. Now this I'm going to put on, I think I'm gonna put it on one of the blondie things. I just think that might be better. These are my favorite thing right now. Our white chocolate peppermint bars. Great idea for gifts, people. Call me on that. Um, and what else did I have here? What I was gonna put on? Huh. Well, you know what, I, um, I know I had enough things. Oh, you know what? I was not doing as many before when I pulled out all the things. So we'll put some more M&Ms on because those look so pretty. crossover guys okay and let's do another pretzel I'll do a thing of pretzels and then the last one I think oh I do have something else here I forgot I'm not sure ah uh, we'll go with it coconut I knew I was only too short because I was planning on this only doing eight Okay, we'll put a little coconut on there. Okay, now this is gonna go into the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, have a great weekend. I will see you on Tuesday. Remember, I will not be here Monday, and if you are wanting your single origin bars and an event for your gifts, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.